One, go. Some people find watching martial arts mesmerizing, but don't know what the moves mean, like I did, until I took almost five years of Taekwondo, and I am now the red advanced belt, so now I'm going to, today I'm going to teach you how to do a form called Pogai 5, and I'm going to call out the moves as I do them, and I hope that you can learn what they mean, what they are. Okay, so I start in writing, and then I go backwards and do a scissors block. Then I look this way and do a high-low block. Then I step forward, do an overhand middle block. Then I step backwards and do a pressing block. Then I step forward and punch. Then on the other side, I do the same thing. So high-low block, overhand middle block, pressing block. Punch. Then I step this way and do another scissors block. Then I step forward, do a T block, another T block, and then a spear hand. And I also key up. Up! I look this way and do an outside block. Then I do punch, punch. Then I go into a side kick ready and come up. And then I do a side kick, uh, elbow strike. Then I do an another open hand middle block. And I do the same thing on this side. So, outside block, punch, punch, side kick ready, side kick, elbow strike, and open hand middle block. And then I face this way and do a scissors block. Then I, uh, then I do a high low block, another high low block. And then I punch and do another key up. Yep. Then I face this way and do the same thing that I did at the beginning. So high low block, open hand middle, pressing block, punch, high low, open hand middle, pressing block, punch. Then I go back to ready and that's the end of the form. And that was the form Paga 5 and I hope that you've learned some of the names of the moves used and I hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did and you're interested in, in what you saw I recommend that you go to a Taekwondo school. The introductory class is free so that way you can see if you like it or not and that's it. Bye!